Welcome. I'm back with another video. I want to thank everyone for their likes, shares, subscribes, and comments and views. Um, please like the video if you resonate with it. That is how we grow the channel and get the messages out to people that may need to hear this. So, again, thank you guys for joining me. So, I wanted to start off by saying that there's people in your life that may be sorry at this time. They may feel sorry. Some of them are praying to the Most High that they get forgiveness. Praying to whoever, whatever they believe in, um, to be forgiven. Some of these people you may have once had love for. You shared personal dreams with them. You may have had visions about what these people were doing to you. These people are now apologetic. They feel sorry because not because of what they done but the fact that you could see what they were doing. A lot of you guys get intuitive nudges that was telling you that things weren't right about these energies that you were surrounding yourself with. They were affecting your dreams. Some of you guys may have had prophetic dreams about these energies that was letting you know that something's not about the right. You couldn't quite pinpoint it. You may have not gotten the full story as to what was being done, what was going on. But the bits and pieces that the Most High showed you let you know that you needed to remove yourself from these individuals. A lot of these individuals may have felt like they wanted to possibly make it seem like you were delusional you may have shared some of your dreams, your goals, the things that you aspired to do. And they wanted you to feel like you didn't know what you were talking about. That you don't have this connection with the Most High. Some of them just wanted to test you because they may have never been around someone that was actually connected to the Most High. So, I'm being called to tell you guys not to take it personal because these people weren't testing you per se, but they were testing the Most High. Some of these people don't even believe that the Most High is real. And that's okay. That's for them and God to work out. That's not for you to convince them of who your God is. The creator. That's for them to work that out amongst themselves. Some of you guys are getting gifts that are returning to you that you may have forgotten about along the way. Especially if you're an old soul and you've reincarnated many times here. You may have forgotten 
some of the things that you were granted, some of the access to knowledge that you were given. Some of you guys are being called to step into new careers, careers that are aligning with your gifts, your talents, your abilities. And only you guys know what that is. Because once you got away from these people, you realize that I'm here for a purpose. Whether you guys can see it or not, the Most High has given me knowledge that I'm here for a reason. I am this magical golden child. Very intelligent. Some of you guys have little to no karma here. So, you know, you might not have went around hurting people intentionally. You might not want anyone to get hurt. You guys may have really went around wishing the best and hoping for the best for everyone that you came into contact with on this earth. Very rare. You may have an innocent, some type of innocence about yourself because you kept your heart very pure. You've always tended to that inner child in you, nurtured it. Even if it was just a little bit, you made sure that you did things that made you still feel good about yourself in spite of what you saw on the outside. Some of you guys see the world through innocent eyes. You didn't know that people were capable of doing some of the things that they were doing. I'm getting spiritual awakening. So some of you guys may have had an awakening that some of these people ain't who you thought they were. Some of these people did not want you to see who you are. Some of these, some of some of you guys are still having trouble seeing people for who they are because who they truly are is very upsetting. It's very hurtful. It's almost unbelievable. You see, you may watch and see on TV how people can do evil. You may have heard about it you may have read about it you may watch movies shows where you see evil happening but for it to be your own people for, for it to be people that you were once close to is very disheartening it's almost unbelievable. You guys are moving into a, um, an energy where you're taking accountability for your creations. That includes your dependents, people that depend on you. That includes how you move through this period of finding out information 
about others that might not sit well with you, might have broken your heart. You're being called to look beyond that. Again, these people were not only testing you, but they were actually testing the most high. Some of these people feel like, well, if the most high is real, why won't they help? Why won't the most high help? If the most high is real, why won't these people help themselves? How are they going to get out of this isolation spell that I've put over them? How they going to get out of this energy of feeling trapped? Backed into a corner. What they going to do? Some of them may have wanted you to feel like a victim. They violated you to the core to where at one point in time you may have felt like a victim. That way, that would get you in the energy of anxiety, fear, hopeless, helpless, powerless. Some of them may have wanted you to be silenced. And what I'm hearing is narcissistic individuals because you know that they'll do stuff to you that you can't prove. And if you speak about it, you sound crazy. You look crazy. Manipulative energies were the things that were being done to you. Only you and God knows what was going on. Only you and God knows how these people was talking to you behind closed doors and how they was treating you. You may have felt like you didn't have a voice in the situation. You may have felt like you couldn't communicate what needed to be said. You may have felt at one point in time you didn't even know how to stand up for yourself. How do you stand up for yourself against people that are doing stuff to you behind closed doors that you can't prove? How do you do that? How do you learn how to take up for yourself in a situation where you don't know where to begin? So what did God do? God started turning Everything that was meant for your bad into good. Use that time of isolation for your advantage. Some of you guys started feeling free because you didn't have to be around these people. So that you didn't have to stay closed in and caged into the box that they wanted you to be in. You felt like. You was relieved that you knew the truth about these people that you were surrounding yourself around. It gave you a sense of taking back your power, taking control over your life. Some of you guys had to have self-discipline. Focus. You did the work on yourself in order to come out of this energy of feeling like you were trapped, feeling like you were procrastinating on the things that you had going on. Some of y'all might have experienced hallucinations. Being surrounded with a lot of illusions, being around these Low vibrational 
energies, these, uh, these magicians. They were smooth talkers. They try to direct your will on this earth. They don't have the power to do that. Your dreams and your visions, your goals. That's between you and the Most High. They wanted you to give up on everything that you had. Everything that you worked on. Everything that you have built for yourself. And some people say, well, I haven't built that much. Yes, you have. Your strength. Your strength has been building this whole time. You've been building it up by the different things that you've went through. The different tests that you've overcome. You guys are learning how to express yourself. Express yourself freely. With openness. Looking at things from a more positive perspective. Because these were only tests that you were going through. And now you got people out here feeling sorry. Sorry for themselves again. They, some of them want to right their wrongs with you. They realize that it was foolish coming up against you. Especially because you can see. Because they didn't know that the Most High was talking to you the whole time. And some people will say, well, I couldn't hear. You might not have been able to hear the, the most high at that time. Because God wanted to see what you was going to do. In the midst of these situations. Then God slowly started talking to you. Telling you what was going on. Might not have known everything, every detail of what was going on. But you knew something wasn't about the right. Something was off. Yeah, so we got people that they, they're sorry. Trying to right their their past wrongs, or they want to, or they thinking about it, or they wish. Some of these people ain't getting another opportunity with you, so they can't write nothing. They will have to take that up with the Most High. You ain't looking back. For what? You'll turn to a pillar of salt, salty back there, looking at back there in that past. Some of y'all are being called to release y'all resentments around money. Some of these people could have been financially abusing you. Keeping you feeling stuck. Like you can't move forward. Like you can't grow your money. Like you couldn't prosper. Like you didn't deserve what's coming in to you. You're being called to release that energy. See money as a tool that you can use to better the world and that will shift your perspective. Attract. You will attract support and golden opportunities. So change your mindset. This happened for you and not to you. 
So I don't know who needs to hear that. Leave those people where they at. Wanting to apologize to you after going, taking you through all this BS. And again, they weren't testing you. Only testing you. They was testing the most high. And the most high going to win every time. Every time. All right. So these are the messages. Y'all take care. Keep your head up. Be positive. Be grateful for having this day. Because tomorrow's not promised to any of us. All right. Take care. Thank you. Bye.